Hi guys and welcome back to Dita TV. It has been an absolute age since I last posted a video. I think it's actually been just over two months so apologies for that but so much has gone on since I last did my video. I uh, went to Thailand for three weeks which was glorious and it was far too hot and I got all red and blotchy. I did get a tan but I don't tan that quickly. I think it takes me about oh gosh months to get a, a proper tan um but anyway beside all that uh i thought i would just do a nice little slimming world update just to let you know how i've been getting on because i've still stuck to it had a little wobble now and again but who doesn't that's life hey ho but two weeks ago um i was really really proud of myself as i got my first stone yes my first stone award and little sticker i'm really really proud of that it felt like it took me an absolute age to get it because i kept i've just been looking through my book and it i've been losing things losing weight like one pound one and a half pounds two pounds so that's obviously my mark per week that i can achieve um with the with the odd half a pound going on now and again but i'm really really super proud of myself because i've stuck at it and although um, I try not to call it a diet as such because I'm really trying to change my eating habits. So I'm thinking about a lot more. Um, so rather than just kind of going for the crisps or going for, well, I don't really like crisps that much or, or bought them in. But um, so like going for crisps or going for chocolate. I love chocolate. Um, it just kind of thinks, right, you know, do I really need chocolate or would I be better off with an apple or a banana that's actually going to be a little bit more... Um, better for me so that is my kind of slimming world update and um so which was a bit annoying really because last week I did put on half a pound so two weeks ago I got my stone off I lost my stone I got my little certificate but last week I put on oh, half a pound so it's all swings and roundabouts and you know I'm a woman and you you know your body fluctuates from month to month as well so you've got to take that into consideration um and also um it was easter and then i had a birthday um so actually to put it in context it wasn't that bad i'm actually quite proud of myself oh and also when i came back from thailand i actually i'd, I'd managed to keep most of my weight off and i only put on half a pound which i was really really proud of so three weeks away and i still um, still came back and I'd kind of maintained if but half a half a pound but I just wanted to give you a few little tips that I've found helpful because um, I think sometimes with anything you can get into a bit of a routine and you can just use your kind of safe food that you do your go-to food but I think it's important to a keep in mind measurements and if you need to weigh your food, weigh it. Don't just guess it because that is when your weight can also increase again. But also keep your book, this book here, Love Food, uh, Love Food Optimising. Um, because in the back, it has everything which is its sin value, which is really, really important because there's been a few things that I've eaten thinking it should be all right. And actually when I've looked it up, it's been like, three sins or four sins or whatever it is so it is worthwhile definitely keep that to hand where you can grab it quickly and just find out because that will help you either making a good choice or a bad choice okay so moving forward tomorrow is my weigh day Tuesdays are my weigh days so um I actually quite like them really I really like going to group although recently I've not been able to stay that long because of just circumstances but I do find them absolutely valuable, especially when you do stay, because you do get a lot of support and a lot of encouragement, and it, they are really supportive. So if you are having maybe a few weeks where you're having a bit of a wobble, it kind of helps you keep back on track. And my consultant is absolutely lovely, and she's really sweet as well, because every week she texts me. So even if I don't reply, she's so sweet, she'll still keep texting me and really encouraging me and carry on like moving forward with my weight loss. So hopefully tomorrow I would have lost the half pound that I put on last week. So that's my that's my aim for this week. And then the following week I'd like to lose between one or one and a half pounds. So I'm really going to stick at that. Um, my overall goal, oh, just drop a book. Uh, my overall goal is to lose another stone. 
but I found that the only way I can achieve that is by doing it step by step and doing it um, carefully and again one or two pounds a week seems to be working for me and the weight is coming off so I think it what it depends what suits different people obviously um, that, that works for me so we'll just keep at it and I have been a lot more active recently as well um, I've been doing a lot of tap dancing walking the dog just generally a, a hell of a lot more active and that really really does help and it helps complement what your, your kind of eating habits as well your lifestyle especially if it's a healthier lifestyle as well so they're kind of my aims and my achievements but I think it's good to have an overall goal what you want to achieve but I also think you've also got to be realistic and set smaller goals in place too so everything is achievable and for me that works brilliantly so it's like I've got an overall goal but I know that to achieve that I'm going to go step by step and I want to lose at least one pound or two pounds a week to, to, to get to that overall goal. Well I hope that um, it, this video has been really helpful please 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 subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you all soon take care Bye.